In this project, we will numerically validate the data reported by the paper named Enhanced Heat Transfer for PCM Melting in Triplet Tube with Internal External Fumes. In this slide, you can see that we have brought to you the figure one of the paper, which is the model of the, the triplex tube used in the paper CFD simulation. Now, in this slide, we have brought to you the figure 13 and figure 7 of the paper, which are the graphs we are going to use our CFD simulation results to validate. The present model is designed in two dimensions using Design Mother software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software, and the mesh type is structured. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button, in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the, for the temperature changes in our computational domain. As you can see in this part, we have selected laminar viscous model since our fluid in our computational domain has no high velocity and its Reynolds number is very low. In the solidification and melting setting, we enable the solidification and melting model. Also, in the parameters section, in front of the Mushi zone parameter, we select constant and we set the value as you can see in the window. Now, the Mushi zone constants measure the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that and equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence but the residual must be checked as well. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and, and how this PCM material's temperature has changed over the time. Now in this section, just as was discussed in previous slides, you are going to validate the results obtained by our CFE simulation with the results obtained in the paper. For example, in this slide, you can see the figure 13 extracted from the paper as the paper had reported the melting fraction of the PCM material over the time. And we first are going to validate this graph using our CFD data. Now, as you can see in this slide, we have clearly validated our CFD simulation results with the paper result. And you can see that there is a very little difference between our and the paper. And as our second validation, we have selected the figure 7 of the paper, which uh, gives us the graph of average temperature over time. Now, just like the previous instruction about the former plot, you have to go under the report plots again and then double click on the temperature R report. Uh, again, by selecting the temperature report under the selected report definition and clicking on plot, the software will show you the average temperature. Again, in this slide, you can easily see that our CFD simulation data fits with the data provided in the paper. Finally, the summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this slide, you can see that we have brought to you the figure one of the paper, which is the model of the, the triplex tube used in the paper CFD simulation. The pipe has four rows of outer fins connected to the inner diameter wall of the pipe and four rows of inner fins connected to the outer diameter of wall of the pipe, so that the material of these inner and outer wall, as well as their fins, is made as copper. Inside the tube, the phase chain material is RT-82. The present model is designed in two dimensions using Design Mother software. The model consists of a circular cross-section of the pipe 
that has four rows of outer fins on the inner wall of the tube and also four rows of inner fins on the outer wall of the tube. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. The element number is equal to 17,856. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.